The knowledge chest. Knowledge is power. Select Hi and, and welcome. Excuse me there. Voice over just uh, uh, basically thought it would um, overrule me there, but no, it did not. Luckily, there's, there's the, the single tap, two-finger single tap gesture just to pause or to shut up speech if necessary. Right, so I have been thinking where I shall put this video and I think I shall put it into the tech tips but also in the voiceover tips and tricks because I think that voiceover users will definitely benefit from this. Um, but other people can also benefit. That's why I think I'll put it in the in the tech tips section for those who, who um, like to view that playlist. Um, what I was thinking about today the Call Any AI app has been recently updated and it has um, it has a very interesting feature now. And they call it comment lines, but it what it actually is is text chat. So you can actually basically text chat with Annie. You don't even have to call her anymore. If you don't like her voice, well, okay. There are other characters you can choose as well, but the point is that you can text chat with the um, with this AI model and actually the point of that is that you can now edit your chat and make sure everything is correct before sending it and so forth. But now I have thought on what what how would it be if i turned on the voice control setting the iphone has a voice control setting in uh, the accessibility options there that you can turn on and you can then control the iphone with your voice i'm not talking about siri here people i am talking about a feature called voice control there's a difference voice control is a totally offline way to control your iPhone with your voice. It has quite a number of settings. One of the settings that I have turned on is when I tell voice control to type something, then it, you know, it should actually type it. So, so, so what I think we will do now is we will go to the call any app. Selected. Screen recording. Fake with spot cap call any. And I'll double tap there. Call any settings button. And then I will go to the comment lines uh, icon there. New characters, video, call, comment lines button and then i'll just um tell voice control i'll so just say double tap settings button space space delete space right so now i am going to just just say the following. Let's let's try this. Type morning, Annie. How are you? You. 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 That wasn't too successful. Return. Delete. You. Oh. Delete. Why? Delete. Sp space. Delete. Space. Let's try again. Type morning, Annie. How are you? Type, morning Annie, how are you? Morning, how are you? That's good enough, so let's send that. I'm, arrow, arrow up circle, button, arrow up circle, light bulb, button. Now I'm going to slide my finger up and see if any uh, if, if, if responded. Hey Paul, good morning, I'm doing great, thanks for asking. How about you? How's your day going so far? 
And and he answered me. Isn't that nice? So now I'm going to slide my finger to the text um, area again. What I do is I usually just make a space. Space. Return. Delete. Space. Then just delete it. And then I can... Let, let, let's try the next one. Type, I am doing well. Thank you. And you? C, space. V, space. Space. Return. Delete. Space. Try again. Type, I am doing well. And you? Doing well with you. Delete. You. Delete that. Oh. Delete the line. The line not found. Delete line. Doing well and why. Good. So if you made a mistake, you can just delete it. Type, I am doing well and you. Type, I am doing well and you. I am doing well and you. Space, space, you. Type, are you coping with everything today? Type, are you coping with everything today? You, and, and, you. Space, you. Type, are you coping with everything today? Coping with everything. Delete that. Coping with everything. Type, are you coping with everything today? Are you coping with everything? Type, today. Today. Arrow up circle. Button. Let's send it. Arrow up circle. Light bulb. Button. Let's see what Annie answered back. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Paul, as for me, I'm just taking things one step at a time and trying to stay positive. Coping with everything can be a challenge sometimes, but I find that taking breaks, practicing mindfulness, and enjoying the little things in life really helps. How about you? Any tips or tricks you use to cope with everything? App switcher. Call Annie. App switcher. Spotify. Good. Okay. Um, so let's let's just um, make voice control. Okay. Stop listening. Stop listening. Good. Now voice control is no longer listening, and it can't consume uh, so much battery power. I will turn it off later on. Okay. So what I wanted to demonstrate here was that. You can use voice control to actually type uh, to Annie or then also type in any other app like WhatsApp or, or, or even uh, messages. And, and voice control has a lot of features, a lot of interesting features. If you go in there, you will find the lo um, commands, uh, basic navigation commands, lots of commands. You can even create new commands. I've... I've created a command that if I run my, if I want to run my coffee timer, then I just say uh, to voice control coffee timer and then it starts a 15 minute timer on its own. So voice control is a, a wonderful feature of the iPhone. And if you would like me to discuss it in more detail in a next episode, I will definitely do it. Just send me an email. I'll put my email address in the comments section. I hope that you found this useful and that it um, at least made your day better. And remember, stay positive and don't let the small things in life get you down. It's one step at a time. Remember what Annie said, taking one step at a time. Chat again. Three Screen recording in progress.